Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to hide objects, texts, and more in AutoCAD using wipeouts. I'm going to show you how to add them, how to modify them, and a few tips along the way. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. Stick around and check it out. Alright, so starting off, a wipeout in AutoCAD is kind of like using whiteout on a piece of paper. It's going to allow you to selectively remove or hide objects without actually affecting them, basically creating a whiteout that you can peel off or delete later, revealing everything that's underneath it. So to get started, you can simply type in wipeout in the command line and hit enter, or you can go up to the home tab in the ribbon here, click on that draw flyout button, and you can see the icon for it here. It's a little whited out area in your drawing. Clicking on it is going to activate that wipeout command. And from here, you can choose if you would like to simply draw your line. So starting by creating a polyline or polygon here around the area where you'd like to hide. So you can see I've clicked a few times. I'm going to click around this entire detail and simply hit enter to end the command. And you can see now my object has completely disappeared. But if I select this area, you can see that this box is now selected. Now I've got my wipeout frame, which is the box that encompasses the wipeout turned off. To turn on or off those frames, you can type in wipeout and then down here choose frames or F for frames and then you've got three options. You can turn them on, you can turn them off, or you can show them but they're not going to plot. That's probably the option most are going to use. So you can hit D and enter or just click on that option there and now you can see the boundary or outline of your wipeout and it won't plot. So this is basically just a clean area. Say you've got a complicated or detailed drawing and you don't want some of these objects to show up in every uh, drawing you've got. Simply creating a wipeout is going to help clean up that space. Wipeouts can also be helpful when you've got blocks of text or tables in your layout space and you'd like to block or wipe out the objects below that table so you can read the table a little bit better giving you that white background nice and cleanly. Now before we jump into the next example using a wipeout here, if you guys haven't checked it out already, I have an AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course available for instant download at the link up above and down below in the description. Both of those links are discounted for viewers such as yourself. I've packed over a decade of experience and tips into these videos, everything from creating templates within AutoCAD, uh, setting up your layers, blocks, XREFs, and references, creating production style drawing sheets, and exporting and packaging your drawings to send to say clients. All of that is included in the course and again you can get those at the link up above and down below. Alright so back to wipeouts. Another option you have when creating wipeouts is that you can create a polyline or polygon before wiping out and then wipe out that area. So this can be helpful if you've already got areas drawn, whether that's like room boundaries or like a rectangle or something that you would like to wipe out everything within. Uh, so I'm gonna draw one right here. So we're just gonna draw a rectangle like this over here. So you can see I'm just drawing a polyline or a polygon. I'm gonna change its color so we can kind of differentiate it here. We're gonna make this yellow. So this is the area I would like wiped out. Maybe we're cutting a section or maybe I just wanna show everything to the left of these pipes. Maybe that's a property line or the edge of a building and we don't wanna show anything on the inside of a building. Now we can simply type in that wipeout command and hit enter. And this time, instead of just drawing, using the default option, you can choose polyline down here or hit P and enter. Now it's going to ask you to select a closed polyline or a polygon and now we're going to select our yellow one. You have one more prompt here and that is whether or not you would like to erase the original polyline or keep it. Typically you'll probably want to keep it if you're using one that exists in your drawing already. If you've drawn one just for the wipeout boundary, 
then you're probably fine to delete it. We're going to change ours to yes, erase the polyline, and hit enter. So now you can see we've simply got a wipeout here, which you can tell is a wipeout by moving it and the objects show up behind it. Now you can see that our polygon was deleted and we have this now editable wipeout. Now that's kind of the last tip here is that to edit a wipeout you can simply select it and grab any of the vertex blue boxes here and move it around. You can then adjust them as you need. If you want to bring in a area, show a little bit more, that's as easy as just moving these wipeouts around. If you'd like to remove it entirely, simply select it and delete it and everything shows up again behind it. So as I mentioned, these can be a great way to quickly clean up and kind of disting distinguish different areas or highlight text by removing the objects behind it. Um, one example that I'll show you here, we're gonna go to our floor plan example here and to our layout. You can see on my floor plan here, I've got a material list table. Maybe I want this to stand out. You can see that some of the room line work and dimensions are shown behind it. By typing in wipeout, we can simply draw a wipeout box around our table and you can see now it's disappeared. Simply selecting our table and bringing that to the front by right clicking and choosing draw order, bring to front, now brings our table in front of or above the wipeout and you can see all of those objects behind it are now whited out. So you've got this nice material list that has nothing behind it to distract from the user. Now, those are just a few ways to use wipeouts and how to edit and create them, but hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comments. And if you're looking for more tips and tricks, check out that course, AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows in a Hurry. The link is up above and down below in the description. Cheers and have a good one.